All right, everybody, how are we doing today? So I had to go back to the crappy old mic because my current microphone was doing this weird feedback thing. There was incessant beeping, so this is a second recording. So today we'll be responding, reacting to the white rapper Tom MacDonald, who has, has something to say about the uh, hatred of Caucasians that have become so popular recently. Lord knows I've actually been verbally abused and shit. It's very real. And it's all around the world. Apparently just because you happen to have the same skin color as an evil villain from forever ago that, you know, you get to be abused. That's not... that's not right. Anyway, let's listen to this. This is Tom McDonald, White Boy, go. I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do But I can understand the reasons why you think that I should Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose And I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood You can't just label me racist Cause I'm related to people who did some terrible Way back before I was alive My parents brought me up to treat everyone as an equal I refuse to feel ashamed cause of my pretty blue eyes And not white supremacist Anyone who labels me as that because of my family genetics The hatred for Caucasians is so pathetic Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit I'm not the white devil, neo-Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say The white race as a whole ain't the enemy There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively White boy, don't say that White boy, oh you so bad White boy, you wish you were black White boy if a black man is sipping on some cognac sitting next to me I don't assume that every black's favorite drink is Hennessy I don't dislike Tanisha cause her first name isn't Stephanie Not only is that wrong, it's a waste of energy ivory or ebony 45 or 17 we all bleed the same martin luther king or kennedy they're angry i'm reciting the facts he's white and he raps he stole the culture right from the facts okay he's fire but we lit the flame he's siphoning gas so f this corny little honky man the whitey is whack you letting history perpetuate the hatred within and then you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with yeah white boy don't say that white boy Oh, you so bad, white boy. You wish you were black, white boy. Dear white boy. Sister, an auntie, an uncle, and a grandma that I picture when you're openly hating. And God willing, one day I'll have a kid of my own. I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife or my baby, so go ahead and hate the racist. I pray for their extinction. If you wanna hate the white people, just make the distinction between the ones who want the best for everyone, regardless, and the ones who build the system just to smother you with hardship. Stop before you say it. I know what you've been thinking. How's a straight white male in 2018? You're making me the villain by demonizing my race For things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave And neither did our dads or our dad's dads For sakes acknowledging atrocities were wrongly committed Is all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted I would never hate a man for what God gave him in pigments And I would never plot against him just because he is different I would never judge a human for the cards he was given Or call him lesser than myself cause of the race that he's mixed with White people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes and Royals They're the people who monopolized the water and oil And injected your communities with drugs that they spoiled Got no patience for Nazis, I think they're better off dead Now fighting hatred with hatred making the hate more intense I don't want nothing to do with either side Side of the fence, so don't blindly attack me for wearing braids on my head. Hate the people who believe you put yourselves in the ghetto. Hate the ones who teach their children you ain't because they said so. Hate the ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely because the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies. Being white and being racist aren't the same, man. I promise. No, it's hard to tell the difference if I'm just being honest. I deserve the chance to show you I'm not part of the problem, and you owe it to yourselves. We got so much in common. White boy, don't say that. So bad, white boy, you wish you were black, white boy, be white boy. Don't say that, white boy, oh 
know you so bad White boy, you wish you were black White boy, dear white boy Using the past to demonize an entire race of people is racism, plain and simple. There are genuinely racist black people who will verbally abuse you for being white, and the left gives them qualified immunity because they say, well, black people can't be racist, and they immediately say something racist. Everyone sees the bullshit, but no one points it out, except for this guy, and for me, and for some other people. No one points it out. This guy's got guts. Love him. I will say some of the lyrics are a bit conspiratorial. Mr. MacDonald, are you the proud owner of a tinfoil hat? Hmm. Mentioning JFK and MLK in the same sentence, both shot for conspiracies. Hmm. I think he's telling us something. But yes, for a song with this many lyrics, we will stick to the verses and ignore the choruses. I'll make that distinction now. Stick to the verses. This is verse 1 and 2. It says, I cannot feel, feel guilty for shit that I didn't do. Of course not. Personal responsibility is reality. Interpersonal responsibility is a logical fallacy. That's called the guilt by association fallacy. Check out the fallacyfiles.net. That is on there. But I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose. I never burnt a cross or hid my face with a hood. Well, if you hide your face with anything, that makes you a coward in my book. And no, black people are not under attack, at least not the way they used to be. Are there racist police officers or institutions that are fundamentally racist that are harming them? Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's not like it used to be. There's, it has been a fair amount of progress. But yeah, you can't just label them racist and related to people who did some terrible shit way back before I was alive. Yeah, portraying white people as evil villains because they happen to have that skin color, thats that in itself is racist. My parents have brought me up to treat everyone as equal, mine did too. I feel so ashamed because my pretty blue eyes. My eyes are green, but yeah. Uh, fuck a Nazi, fuck, the, fuck a white supremacist, fuck anyone who labels me as because of my family genetics. The hatred for Caucasians is so fucking pathetic, and yet it's popular, because a lot of the time things that are popular are pathetic. Just saying. Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white devil, neo-Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. There is no white devil. You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say that the white race as a whole ain't the enemy. There's a racist white people who are far from that collectively. Absolutely. I know, they want to make, an, make us into a devil, of the, of a, the devil of a new religion. <clears throat> But uh, if a black man is sipping on some cognac, a popular stiff drink, sitting next to me, I don't assume that every black's favorite drink is Hennessy. I don't dislike Tanisha because her name isn't Stephanie. Not only is that wrong, it's a fucking waste of energy. A lot of things people do are a waste of energy. Wasting energy is unfortunately a popular pastime. I'm obsessed with time management, so I don't really do that. Ivany or Ebony, 45 or 17, we all bleed the same, Martin Luther King or Kennedy. They're angry, I'm reciting the facts. He's white, he raps, he stole the culture right from the blacks. Well, rap is done in, an English la in the English language. The English language is a white language. It is from Europe. It is Germanic and also, and also Latin elements. Therefore, it is technically a Romance language as well. No, it certainly didn't used to be. Okay, he's fire, but we lit the flame. He's siphoning gas, so fuck this corny little honky. Mm. Man, the whitey is whack. You let history perpetuate the hatred within, and when you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with, yeah. This message, this dude's message is absolutely powerful. So I have to point this shit out and get it the word out there. These people are pathetic. It says I got a mother, I got a father, a sister, and an auntie and an uncle, and a grandmother to picture when you're openly hating. And God willing, one day I'll have a kid of my own. I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife or my baby. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and hate the racists. I pray for their extinction. If you want to hate the white people, just make a distinction between the ones who want the best for everyone regardless and the ones who built the system just to smother you with hardship. Yeah, except this is where I kind of run into a problem with him wishing violence on racists because that just makes it worse. That that creates an atmosphere of violence. The Daryl Davis method is better. You go and you make the friend with the racist, and then when you make friends, you talk them out of it. That is much better. Uh, stop before you say, I know what you've been thinking, how's a straight white male in 2018 bitchin'? 
You're making me the villain for demonizing my race, for things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make. No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave, and neither did our dads or our dad's dad's fuck's sake. Acknowledging atrocities were wrongly committed is all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted. I couldn't have put it better myself. On point. <clears throat> I would never hate a man for what God gave him in pigments, and I would never plot against him just because he is different. What God? I would never judge a human for the cards he was given, or call them lesser than myself because of the race that he's mixed with. Well, yeah, that would also be wrong. It would be just as bad as what they're doing, if not worse. My people that you hate aren't neighbors or lawyers, they're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes, and Royals. There he goes again with the conspiratorial shift. Rothschild bankers! Rockefellers! The Bush family! Did you know that there's actually a conspiracy theory that the old royal family prior to the Tudors were werewolves? And the introduction of the Tudors was to breed the werewolves out? <laughs> yep, that's a real one. Look that up. That's real. Uh, but they're the people who monopolized the water and oil and infected your communities with drugs till they spoil. Got no patience for Nazis. I think they're better off dead. And there he goes again with the hatred. But, yeah. He's got a powerful message. He makes a really good point. Hating white people just because they happen to have the same skill of color as an evil villain from forever ago, that is not okay. That is that is straight up racism. This guy's cool. He's got a very rock and roll kind of attitude. I love it. It's really good hip hop. I'm starting to really love the rap genre the more I listen to it. The more I listen, the more I like. So lyrically speaking, the rhyme scheme, he sticks to the beat, he has a clever rhyme. He's in time, he has a solid beat to follow. His rhyme scheme is extremely clever, but though deceptively simple, dude's powerful. So, without, you know, well, at the risk of appearing like I'm playing favorite here, this dude's a five, five monocles. The song Snob is Pleased, mm, yes. So, yeah, no, he's good. He's damn good. And I understand the controversy, because it's so popular and just... It's entering into conventional wisdom now that white people are automatic racists. Sickening. Sickening. But yeah, no. We, we need this guy. We need him. Now, to finish out the video with something a little more lighthearted, <laughs> let's talk about some of the shit he was uh, bringing up, specifically um, sort of the, the assassination conspiracies. <clears throat> So this is from the, the thinkcenter.org. It says, after four weeks of testing with over 70 witnesses, 70, a civil trial in Memphis, Tennessee, 12 jurors reached a unanimous verdict on December 8th, 1999, after about an hour of deliberations, that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated as a result of a conspiracy. It was a legitimate conspiracy. There's more evidence for that than there is for JFK. Some say CIA, some say FBI. It was a very real thing. I'll include a link in the description, you can see it for yourself. <clears throat> then, you know, of course, we can go down the rabbit hole of John F. Kennedy, uh, the Mafia, CIA, uh, what's-his-face, um, Lyndon Baines Johnson. There's lots of people who want a JFK dead. But uh, those who question the finding of the Warren Commission in begin positing alternative theories spawned a, co a cottage industry of books. Documentaries later websites that continued to thrive into the 21st century among the first books to challenge the Warren reports were Mark Lane's Rush to Judgment, a critique of the Warren Commission's inquiry into the murders of President John F. Kennedy after J.D. Tippett and Lee Harvey Oswald and Edward J. Epstein's inquest, the Warren Commission, and the establishment of truth. Cuba and conspiracy theories involving Cuba. But they had three shooters. They had one that took a shot and missed. There's one on the grassy knoll. The one that was in the book depository who could not have been Oswald, there wasn't enough time. There was a dude down on the storm drain that finished Kennedy off. But yeah, I'll leave that in the cons in that so you can go go dive down the rabbit hole. But dude, yeah, five out of five. This guy's just a little too real for some people, I think. Anyway, that's about all. Peace.